from here yeah from here you can use from here? yes you can use this for the straight line if you want yes. okay no problem just 10.5 yes hello everyone to the live video yesterday um, on uh, saturday we did a pattern a basic pattern and today my student is making that pattern by her own self by her own measurement so you can join us and if you like this video just press the like button and share this video then i go to the hip no next is waist for oh, waist yeah. waist means from, uh, five inches down five inches down from here no Waistline is 9.5. Yes, it's 9.5. Then I go down to my hip, that is 6 inches down. Yes, good. And my hip is still wow. Mm -hmm. Ah, one ruler. Uh, how much is this? Uh, Twelve. Okay. And my length is. What is the length? You can use this. Thirty-eight. From here, right? Yeah. Yes. From the shoulder. Yeah. Uh -huh. To this hemline. This is not available in Amazon. Really? Yes. This T. The curve is there. Mm -hmm. so I have to go to the Pakistani shop. Yeah. Now. In Sharjah, Rola area, na? that is, uh, you can find there. Yeah, in actually, right there in stores. Okay, okay. I never visited this. I, I never, but I have to other drivers. I have to connect these two. Yeah. See, there is very bad. A slant line. Yeah, good. Okay. And this also. In this also, but this is with the outer curve. Oh, I have to use yeah. that. You, if you don't have that scale, you just can bend it a little like this way and you can This way we use this one? This one also you can use or otherwise if you have this scale, you can no, use this thing one. like this way But this is my hip so Yeah, you can just turn it like this Like way. this See uh, uh, Keep it inside now so you can get from See this point to this point Okay that's how you can join up to up to you can uh, decide one or two inches extra than your hip otherwise uh, if you want more flat you can oh, go okay. I will yeah. do it uh, a yeah. line okay and then just try it like from here now use uh, straight side of your scale here. The time I was sitting, the time I was reduced. Isn't it? So, this is your. See, you should. Yeah, this one goes like this way. Okay, now I have to measure the neck. Yes, now the neck. The line. width is 4 inches. Yes. So guys, if you are watching this video, uh, you can see by only one class, and one class, and now she is making her own pattern by her own self, and uh, she remember all these things because I teach her uh, exact with exact notes and step by step each and everything in last class down on the notebook. That's why it's easy even for an absolute beginner to follow the step. If you learn something uh, with a proper technical way, you can learn fast. So that's how I teach my students. And uh, Alhamdulillah, always I give a uh, good response. Okay. This is the depth of the color. Yeah, good. Hmm? 
And here one inch down. Yes. Perfect. Currently, I'm only recalling also. Yeah, but uh, your memory is very good. <laughs> I must say. <laughs> yeah. So I have to join this. This is for the yes. shoulder. Yes, this point. This point. This point. Hmm. Last point. You see, if you do it yourself, you will understand. Yeah. And then, what is the next step? Oh, this is, I just have to join it somewhere. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah, it's still uh, almost still here, no? It will be mm -hmm. almost still here. Because my arm hole is 9.5. Yeah. Still here, you can join. Six. Okay. Yeah. So now here you can. Make the curve. What did we use yesterday? We used this this curve. Like this way. Because this is a little bit curved now. This small bit. So we'll just you can do it by hand. One thing also you can do is like here you can now uh, mark. So the, oh, yeah. the French curve will have yeah that that curve is for that purpose. No? Um, you can here just mark for one inch and then you can join it by oh, okay. the curve. Yeah, the free hand. No? Mm -hmm. So you can get a perfect curve. And I'm good. I'm not good at all with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. The mm -hmm. So this is the thing. Well, when we cut, we cut. Uh, we will actually cut the uh, okay. okay. Because neckline, I will um, teach you with the separate method. No? So method. on pattern, we we'll just cut from here. Okay, it goes allowance. Yeah. So you are not when we are sitting, we are not giving any allowance. We will add it later. later. Okay. In some patterns, they already add the uh, seam, uh, seam allowance here on the pattern. But the thing is that then there must be double lines, na? Like one yes. is for so for beginners, it's much uh, it's a bit confusing, now What these two lines? So uh, my so this is this is a pakka measurement. Yeah, pakka measurement. Exact is your size. Uh, this uh, this you can see that after um making this is the size. But when we trace on the fabric, uh, we will trace here the seam allowance, mm. extra seam allowance, okay? Yeah. And also it depends that uh, if you are working with the surgeon, that type of machine you can notice in your uh, t-shirt type of dresses, that is very small, um, um, what you say, the seam allowance is very uh, small. No? And But if you are working with regular machines and working with very lightweight fabric like lawn, cotton, something, so the, then we add one inch extra. Because shrinkage. Yeah, because we need uh, more, uh, like, uh, it, it it will not come out. Yeah, that's why. Right. It won't expand. Yeah. <laughs> it will shrink. Yeah. So this is done? Uh, yeah, this is done. So today you don't have the fabric. No, because I was, in my mind, I thought we'll finish all the patterns and then we will cut at the same time and then we stitch a lot too. No problem, we can do it then, then, that way also, no problem. So after completing this, if you are satisfied, if any question, you can ask me. <laughs> you are done. Yeah, it's done. This one is done. Now, I remember, oh. Yeah, and uh, you did a very good job. <laughs> and now we uh, move to the next, uh, next pattern, that is sleeve. Mm. Okay, so now we can make a sleeve pattern. Okay, so this is I have to, to put my name in. This is mine. Hi, Hena. Um, thank you for joining and watching. Now, uh, after completing this basic pattern, we are going to make a sleeve pattern. Right here inside, na, because from here you will yeah, cut whatever um, thing you want to write inside the pattern. Hmm. Okay, so now just cut it from here. So I will get that uh, when I go to the shop tomorrow. Mm -hmm. After getting my card, I will get the French card ballot. French card? Mm -hmm. if, if, if it's going to be easier with it. 
<laughs> see, you you see, there is no actually need. Mm -hmm. I did my three years of diploma so without any need. French curve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just a luxury. If you want to buy, you want. Oh. You, want. Uh, you can buy. Okay. okay. But it's, need, a, it's a good but, thing. But I but I need the T scale and this one. Yeah, basic. This, this is the most. Uh, mm -hmm. Important thing, yeah. But there is also long scale, you know. Yeah, yeah, that is also very helpful, especially yeah. for the long, yeah, this type of them. So I got yesterday from you, my one ruler. Uh -huh. Yeah, the ruler is must. Uh, uh, but I'll try to get long one. So this should go to the tailoring shop. Okay, now just cut it from here, and then we start the uh, pattern making of. Where do I cut? Just cut it from here because we are not going to cut the. Uh, or we, should we cut the pattern first? Okay, cut from here. Then I will cut exactly my hair. Yeah, first cut here, then we cut this all this pattern. The hemline. Yeah, hemline. So uh, the dress you want to make uh, uh, with this pattern, no? not that the size, right? This is my size. Yeah, so so fabric you want to cut the fabric with this size. Right? Yes. Okay. So now cut this pattern as well. I will bring my old no bed problem. sheet. No problem. No problem. Make pajamas from there. No problem. Uh, see from here, just cut it here. But only thing is that uh, obviously bed sheets are normally in cotton, no? It's cotton. Yeah, because cotton is good. Uh, it's mixed not polyester, no? No problem. If it's not very thin, then it's okay. Yeah, bed sheet stuff is uh, usually good stuff Polyos. for the practice. Yeah. Polyester. <laughs> no it's problem. okay for practice. Yeah, yeah, it's, no? a, it's okay. It's good for practice. Okay, I have to cut from here. Hmm. First cut this line, then this slant line, then go here and this way. Cardboard is best there. Yeah. You can preserve it. Yeah. Yeah. Or otherwise, uh, one more uh, thick uh, type of uh, um, sheet, no? Sheet. The yeah, art from for the art. They have white, but that is only this much sheet, not the standard size. Mm -hmm. It's not that. Yeah. Or otherwise, uh, what I did for for more, most of the pattern. I take a um, roll of this, um, uh, what you call this, um, canvas no? that uh, tailor use for making the necklines. So I take that. Um, Where do I cut? See this type of this. material no? for making neckline use this sheet. So I also sometimes make my pattern on this because this is also very durable. We, we can use this. Oh, yeah. this is better than this. Yeah. At least it's water absorbent and yeah, yeah, yeah stronger. It's stronger. Where, where to get this? What do you call this? This is lining. Yeah, yeah this is actually interfacing. We use to Interface, make the collar. neck lines and collars. Yeah. So I I uh, I had actually a full roll. Nah? It's uh, it's coming in roll. You can buy uh, per meter as well, like uh, five dirham or something is uh, per meter. Mm -hmm. But that roll at that time is few years back. I think three four years back. I got that whole roll. I think thirty or thirty five. Mm -hmm. So, but that was uh, that last uh, many years. So much uh, material was there in that roll. Na? So I just finish all this roll. Otherwise, sometimes I make my, uh, especially on my own pattern, I make my own thing. It's just very durable thing. Oh, so we can use any material for pattern. Yeah, anything, anything. I think this is a good idea. And specially pattern, um, uh, there is a paper for pattern as well. That is dotted, dotted, no? You can see the uh, uh, dots in lines because with uh, working with dots is easy, no? Mm -hmm. So the designer use that paper actually. We will use this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 the, the, diff the difficult way of doing. <laughs> I actually has a have a habit to make this uh, because in my diploma I use this brown paper a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Oh, brown paper. Yeah, newspaper, but the newspaper is out of fashion mm -hmm. now. Yeah, yeah, and also in newspaper, the thing is that already there are so much news, right. so you you easily got distracted <laughs> because 
lines are not clear sometimes, na? Yeah, for sure. So for yes. beginners, beginners are already obviously they have to learn from this. It's better to use a pen. This is this my hips very well. Yeah, this is Then I can buy the cloth and make my own dress. Yeah. For, okay. for me at least. Yeah. Because I cannot use resumes. Mm -hmm. uh, see. Okay, this pattern is ready. Guys, you can also see. If any question, you can just drop in the comment. I After the video, I will reply. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we are going to make. Any question regarding this? Mm -hmm. no? Okay, so now we are going to make the uh, sleeve pattern. Okay, so this uh, leftover um, uh, paper we can use as a uh, for the sleeve pattern. So first we take the total my uh, total length of your sleeve. Nine and one half. Nine and one half. Nine and half. Yes. Like this one. Yes. Okay. So till here you just again. Is this boundary line? Uh, here we actually don't need, but uh, if you are confused, then uh, what we can do is we can raise this one. Huh? We don't so need. Can Yeah, we don't, uh, don't need this line. I'm raising because uh, otherwise you will confuse. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because there uh, one another horizontal line is coming, so maybe you confuse. Okay. So. Now we are going to make the sleeve pattern. First, from here to here, total length that is nine we decided nine and a half because we don't want the full sleeve. Till here, we just mark. Okay. Now, uh, from here towards down, mm -hmm. we mark three inches. Okay. This three inches is standard. Okay, this three inches at three inches. I just mark here a dot and I will uh, draw a horizontal line like this way without any length, just mark a rough line. Okay, three inches. This three inches is just standard from the top. Yes, from the top to the bottom. Okay. okay. Now, uh, this is nine and one half. Yeah, this is total length of your sleeve. Okay. So why I mark this line? Because we need here a slant line of your collar. Uh, uh, according to your sleeve, that is chest divided by uh, four. We are going to use here the measurement of chest divided by four. What is your chest divided by four? Chest divided by four, ten point twenty five. 10 point, chest, huh? Hmm. 10.25. So, 10.5. Okay. And what So, uh, because you want to use no, that way. See? Uh, I mark this line because uh, 10.25. Oh. Okay. So yeah. see, 10.25 can be here. Okay. It can be here or it can be here. Okay. So what exactly on which point we need this 10.5? That that's that's why I mark this line because now we need our line this much slant only. Okay. So our 10.25. 25, 25 should be on this line. This, this much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. You understand why we mark this line? This is chest. Divide by four. Okay. So. And this line you just draw. I just draw a straight line only that this is down three inches means when we draw over this uh, slant line it should be uh, this three inches down that's why we draw this line understand okay now here uh, 
this is your total length now. So at, at this point, you just um, circumference uh, yes. seven. Seven divided by two, no? Uh, it was fourteen divided by it two. Was, yes, it's, it's, it's seven. seven. So seven at seven, we just mark here seven. Okay, and just join this line to this line with a slant. This line, yes. Uh, I'm so sorry, uh, Gina. Um, I hope I pronounce your name correct. Uh, <laughs> yes, so we are planning mm. to sell our birds as well. Okay, so uh, actually, someone commented that uh, I can't hear because of the bird voice. <laughs> okay, you have to put a speaker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, so now from here to here. But thank God, my actual birds are uh, quiet. <laughs> my kids, <laughs> are quiet, <laughs> they, are, they are quiet, but otherwise they are very uh, noisy. Okay, so now the next step is from here to here, uh, the center of your line. We just mark here one inch up. Okay, this is just a helping line. So uh, uh, roughly just uh, by the eyeball, I just uh, have idea that this is the center. Now, okay. So here I just mark one inch up. Okay. Why I mark this one inch up? Because I need here a curve. See, I will start my curve from here and join this line. Means it, it should not be very like high or very low. No? This should be only. This is this one, no? Yeah, this curve. And we will join it by here. Okay. Till here you understand? Yeah. Okay. Now one more thing is that in ladies' uh, dresses, at this point, on our body, at this point, because we don't want hair to gather uh, the fabric now, so we cut a little deep at this point. Okay. Again, again? We don't want that here uh, the fabric oh, should be gathered yeah, yeah. so that's why in ladies dresses <coughs> we cut deep only on the front side okay and this is almost Just half inch how they make the blouses more for the sari and all yes yeah. Yeah, the too much fitting now, yeah. so they cut this oh, more inside. extra, yeah. Yeah. and also they put the um, dots as well. Dots, okay. And same thing we will do in our oh, okay. What you put this for what? This is extra cutting when we cut our sleeve now. When we cut, then you can uh, better understand. But see, this is the cutting for the uh, back, uh, back side of your sleeve, and this extra cutting is the front side of your sleeve. Okay, uh, don't worry if you don't understand at this point. When we start cutting the fabric, you will understand. Just remember that here we need. Uh, so I'll tell you. Hmm. So we will have left and right pattern for the sleeve. Yeah, actually left and right pattern, but uh, no worry about that. We use same pattern for the left and right. Uh, okay. We just can uh, yeah. place it the other way, na. Yes. So, uh, but your question is good. And how we know that left and right? How we do it? We will make our right side on the right side and then we cut this extra now so it will come opposite. You you raise a very good question because sometimes student cuts the both right or both left. Na? So when uh, we start uh, the time of fixing is a problem. Yeah. It's Always, not matching. Yeah. It's a uh, uh, both right over so for that formula is always the when you cut the right side of the fabric should be on the right side and uh, mark on the uh, we have to side. mark it yes and then cut it okay i will explain you the when we start cutting the sleeve okay so this is so same thing same extra cutting we will also do here at this point so from there see at this point only for the front okay this extra cutting this is for the front for the front i'm not cutting on this pattern because this pattern first we trace for the back as well and then only the uh, front we will cut a little extra so i uh, so this pattern is actually the back side oh i did not do the back color yeah no problem this is for front and back uh, both yes you will be this no mm -hmm. yeah just mark it like yeah. half inch no? 
okay so till here you understand now to first i put do the three inches down and then do the line first i have to take this space and do the line oh no first i have to take the total length, length and then and take then this three inches, three inches down, down do this and then all up line yes and then and then i have to do this slant by taking the chest divided by four that should be the distance and one inch up and then do the curvature like yeah. this for this yes. and then add this one in for the front side yes. and then what then I join this yes. this is actually the nine points okay this is the uh, yes. yeah, M-hole yeah, yeah. The armhole is 14, no? Divided by 2. Yes. And this is the... What do you call this part? Arm, uh, armhole. Sleeve curve. That's yeah, so what kind of thing. Sleeve curve, okay? Huh? Sleeve curve also you can Sleeve curve, where can I write that here? Yeah, inside here you can write Thank you so much for your uh, nice feedback about my videos and uh, yeah actually in, in my for my youtube videos as well uh, if my kids are quiet then the birds start uh, uh, their noises so i feel very challenging that's why a couple of uh, my last videos i only did the mu uh, music background only without voiceover so that's why we are um, thinking. So let's see. <laughs> or otherwise, my students suggest me to arrange some mic and proper voice setup. Na? So maybe I will do that. But uh, obviously, I need your uh, good response. So if I feel that more people are interested, uh, I will sure make a proper setup for the voice as well. Hmm, any question? No, then this is done. This is done. Now we can cut it from here. She start oh, cutting. Start cutting oh, from okay, here. Okay, but okay. Do the right and the left. I have to understand. No, no. In the right and left, we just use one pattern uh, and we just turn it. No, so uh, don't worry about that. When we start cutting the fabric, no, you will understand. You don't need uh, right and left separate. So this is guys the sleeve pattern if any question you can ask me and because my student wants a very loose type of dress that's why the measurements uh, you may feel that is uh, bigger but she don't prefer the fitted dresses so it's on your uh, personal choice and making your own pattern is always uh, um, uh, yeah challenge but it's, it has the benefit that you can alter according to your personal choice so even if this pattern when we will try this pattern and she will try the dress and uh, she can feel any changes we can make change the uh, on the pattern so that's why pattern making skill is very important and with the same basic pattern you can do different um, styles like if this is a basic pattern if you use till here um you can make our even t-shirt or till here you can make a blouse and you just need to add the dots and if you make it from here the more flare so you can make it a a-line dress so this basic pattern you can use in different style of dresses so now you understand okay you want to write the notes for this Mm. Yeah, write uh, down this uh, and uh, mm. yes. 
Ja. And guys, I already uploaded a uh, six uh, videos course complete on this channel, uh, this page as well, and on uh, on my YouTube channel Salika Man, where from starting how to take the body measurement, then pattern making, cutting, stitching, and uh, neckline making. Uh, uh, I mean, the complete um, course for the beginners is already uploaded on the this same page. You can check on here, or otherwise you can visit my. A YouTube channel that is Salika Mag S A L I Q A M A G Mag Salika Mag. So today we just revise this pattern and in next class we will uh, start cutting our dress with this basic pattern so don't miss our next uh, session as well and if you haven't follow my page just uh, hit the um, like or follow button of my page I will draw a curvature on top of this uh, chest. Sorry? I am writing draw, a, draw the curvature one mm -hmm. inch. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, one inch. One inch. One this, inch. Much. this is just a helping line. If you feel mm -hmm. it without this line, you can. No, it's yeah. necessary. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, what do we call this second? This is uh, extra cutting for the front only. Do extra cutting. I'm just writing within the curvature. I will understand. Okay. Okay. First, I said mm -hmm. measure the length of the sleeve. Okay. And then draw the three inches down mm -hmm. from the top. Okay. Then draw the and draw this uh, line. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the sleeve measure the sleeve circumference. Mm -hmm. And then from the tip up, do the measurement of the chest from the tip up. Yes. Do the measurement of the chest divided by four, and then draw a line from this tip towards this tip. Yes. And then on draw this one inch mm -hmm. on top of this line and draw the curvature line. Mm -hmm. And within this curvature line, make a. Just do an extra cutting for the front for the dress. Front, front dress. Okay. Yeah, good. The same thing we need to do on this pattern. So extra cutting. Okay. So, so only like this. 
एक्स्ट्रा कटिंग मीन्स वेट एक्स्ट्रा कटिंग ना अब ये तू कट लीज या दिस इन फ्रंट इन फ्रंट कर ले तो इसको कटिंग डिसाइड हो गया है तू दिस मेंटल या यू कैन डू प्रैक्टिस नाउ इसको चला एटीन हो Yeah, okay. If you want to do it, then I will take this edge. Then first I have to draw the length. Yes, first we draw. Uh, the length of our sleeve. Hi, good morning, Sandy. Thank you for watching. Uh, we just uh, make up the sleeve front, uh, the half sleeve, and now my student is uh, making uh, all by herself. The, to just the practice this front, and also in today's uh, class we uh, revise our the pattern. In last class, um, we made a pattern with a dummy size, but uh, in this class, she made uh, by our, her own size. So that's how she uh, got the practice. And now, the in the next session, we will uh, start cutting our fabric with this um, pattern. So don't miss our next video as well. Uh, if you haven't follow my page, just uh, hit the follow button, so you will get the notification. And also subscribe my channel Salika Mag. You will get um, all videos there as well. Guys, if any question, you can just drop in the comment section. After finishing this class, I will uh, reply to each and every one. So, don't be hesitant to ask any question. फ्रंट एंड फिक्स योर हैंड लाइक दिस वे एंड नॉट रियली गुड इवन आस केचिंग द पॉइंट ओके नो प्रॉब्लम आई जस्ट दैट्स व्हाई आई एम गिविंग यू टिप डोंट मूव योर हैंड जस्ट मूव योर पेंसिल सो दैट्स हाउ यू विल गेट अ परफेक्ट कर्व ओनली 1 इंच हियर आई एम सॉरी आई विल 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 सॉरी जस्ट होल्ड योर हैंड डोंट मूव योर हैंड ओनली मूव योर pencil that's how you will get a perfect cut mm -hmm. okay see i didn't move my hand i just moved the pencil so oh, that is okay then draw next for cutting which which side i have to draw this this side this is the outer side of your sleeve no? what is to do You just did like this. Yeah, uh, at least half inch to one inch. Here I just mark the half inch. Okay. 
half inch down if you're not sure how deep you can mark here the half inch okay and then you can join uh, this way where is the half inch here okay this is the line now yeah this is the line okay so from here just mark it here here you mean yeah. and then just this much deep you want from here yes Mommy, I have to do this. Keep it like this way, and then also keep it like this. Now you can see the direction exactly. Huh? It's going down and then up. Yes. Okay. It's going to the till, line. Yeah, till here down and then start going up. Like this? Yeah. And then going. Sorry, Ram, because I really. No problem, no problem. Maybe. Yeah, you really need that French girl. No, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, you just. Um, uh, yeah, because. Scared, no, no problem. It's, yes. Just do it like this way. So just. But it's not curved, no, you aren't curving, it's nice. This is not curved at all. It's going like this way, and then immediately start going up. Now that's why it's not giving you curve shape. See, uh -oh. immediately start, not slowly, slowly. When you go down, just then start again coming up like this way. Okay, this also in the French curve, it will all be there. This curve, yeah, I think so. Uh, frankly speaking, I never use the French curls, <laughs> but, but, designer, also... but designer used that curls and it has a lot of options. But so, yeah, also yeah, yeah. for the sleeves. Yeah, I remember this. Yes, this there is uh, this shape as well because it it is a little like, see, a leaf type of shape. Na? See, I saw there are five scales and yeah, it's yeah. 48 mm -hmm. dirham. So it's costing less than 10, I think, for each one. Mm -hmm. But that is not there. This T scale is not there. T is not the there. The most important is not there. I will search. If I find any link, I will send you. But when I go tomorrow, I still will go to the shop. I will tell this. Yeah, at shop you can find even cheaper. No? Because usually Pakistani shops only will be there. There are shops. Yeah. I will just go to driver shop now. Okay. And then I have to join this. Yeah, and I have to Good. Perfect. This is. And then sleep. Again. Okay. <coughs> Perfect. Just cut it. The outer lines. And now you ready. So for next class you will come tomorrow. Mm. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. yeah, I will go out in the morning. Okay, okay. I so don't know what time the shop will open. Yeah, I think it, uh, they'll open a little late. I guess so. Like ten, 10 o'clock, ten or eleven maybe. I'm not sure, but I'm just guessing because usually this is a trend. <laughs> you cannot uh, start the shop very late. Yeah. I will ask the driver. The taxi driver stays in this building only with us. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he maybe knows because he drives obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to call him in the night. We have to do the caller also, no? Collar? Yeah, neckline we will do now, but you want to learn the collar as well? Yeah, okay. But in this pattern we will make the V shape, na? you want the V shape? I want the V shape, I want the round shape. Okay. I, I want to put some curves first, first, first for the children, mm -hmm. round collar, okay. that kind of thing. I, love, I, mean, I think that be in the attachment that will come yeah when we will start uh, the designing yeah. oh. okay so what are we supposed to do we are done 
yeah we are done so, so tomorrow if i come hmm. i'll try to come hmm. it depends on the card oh, no? okay, as soon as i get i will go and get the stuff uh, and uh, you so need the fabric in next class you need the fabric and the machine okay i will use your machine also i will use this machine also yeah yeah sure you have this machine also in the house yeah, yeah, you can use, uh, I will explain you each and everything about the machine as mm. well uh, in next class. You never use the machine, huh? No, it's brand new there only. Uh, no, uh, I mean, uh, any other machine, you never use the machine. So no, I use the machine, I know okay, how to okay. stitch, but that is the old, old one. Uh, okay, the, black one. You know that, uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I also nice has, uh, have that uh, black one as well. That is nice only. The standard one, the old one, uh, traditional. Uh, but uh, those machines are more stronger than these machines. Because, That's yeah, because these are plastic made, no? Oh, plastic, and my machine mm. is 2 kilo weight only. Yeah, 2 kilo. <laughs> no, purposely, because I already have a big one, yeah, you, which is 7 kilo. Yeah. It's just the one in India. But when I started, when I started, I do not know how to operate at all. Yeah. It's complicated, no? Because yeah. it's all compact. Yeah. Yeah, bring just bring I uh, Okay, well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow we will do the next session of this class. And meanwhile, you can check my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Most likely I will come. Yeah. But I also want to compete. Will you give me the link of this one?